Okay, uh, good evening, welcome. So tonight's halacha is entitled uh, Baked Chalas, Home Baked Chalas, or Bakery Bought Chalas, uh, which is better? Um, I know it's a very sensitive area, and I'm going to have to tread very, very carefully. There are strong opinions on both sides, but uh, let's uh, try and be as objective as possible. So, the starting point is Shulchan Aruch and Simon Reishnun, Sif Chaf. If you look at the first box on your handout, if you're listening online, please email me at j.golf.gmail.com. I'll send you the handout. Says the Shulchan Aruch, Yashkim Baboike. We're talking about Erev Shabbos Halachas. So Yashkim Baboike, a person should wake up early, Beyom Shishi, on Friday morning, Lahochin Tzorchi Shabbos, to prepare the Shabbos uh, preparations. Fafiru Yeishle Kama Avodim Neshamshe. Even if a person has many avodim, many uh, servants, maids, whatever it may be, l'shamshay, yishtadel l'hochin ba'atz me'shum dovar l'tzorchi Shabbos k'day l'chabde. One should personally do something for Shabbos in order to honor Shabbos. Ki Rav Chista, hoye mach mechate chayerek, dak, dak. Because Rav Chista, uh, his preparations for Shabbos was to chop the vegetables. And he would chop them dak, dak, very, very, very fine. Because, of course, on Shabbos, that's a problem of teichen. You can't chop something uh, very finely on Shabbos. A few weeks ago, we had a, my, my wife's sister from Eretz Yisrael, her brother-in-law, uh, adopted a young lady with uh, Down syndromes from when she was six years old. She's now coming her 13. And um, so my sister-in-law, my uh, niece, this young lady, was staying with us for Shabbos. And Shabbos lunchtime, she was, they were preparing some salads or whatever. And one of my kids gave her to cut the cucumber. And she reminded everyone that you can't cut them too thin and you've got to make sure they're big pieces because it's sharpest today. Uh, so she, she, she knows the halacha. The rabbi of Rav Yosef, they would chop wood. Rav Zeyro, he would uh, put the fire on. Rav Nachman, he would put and he would prepare the home. Machnis Kalim had stricken the Shabbos and Fana Klihachol. He would put away the weekday Kalim and bring in the Shabbos Kalim. Or Mehem Yelome to call Adam. And from them, these great Amiroim, every person should learn. The Lo Yomar Lo Efkem Kavaydi is beneath my dignity to, to roll my sleeves up. Kizehu Kavaydi Shemechabit HaShabbos. That is his honor that uh, actually he's preparing for Shabbos. Famous Maisa with the stipler that one time <coughs> a, um, a lady, sorry, a, a young man, an Avrich, came to the stipler and said, you know, Erev Shabbos, I'm trying to learn, and my wife is, is uh, asking for help and things like that. So he said, I see, that's a, that's the problem. Uh, where do you live? And he gave the address. And Erev Shabbos, there was a knock on the door. The stipler himself came, and this, the Avrich answered the door to his absolute dismay. The stipler was standing at his front door, uh, and he said, how, well, what's up? How can I help? He said, I understand. There's a young uh, mom who needs some help. I've come to help. Right? I think he got the message. V'yesh lahashchiz hasakin, and one should also sharpen the knife, says the Ramah, Be'er Shabbos kizel mikavad ha-Shabbos shemechin atzmo lachidah, that he himself prepares uh, for food, now, for eating. Now, says the Mishnah Bura, just a few pointers, B'yom Shishi, says the Mishnah Bura, V'hu yoyse toiv m'shayikne b'yom hei, better he buys the food on Friday than on Erev Shabbos, than, than on Thursday, b'yom hei, why? Because if he buys things and prepares on Friday, it's more evident that it's for Shabbos. Unless, of course, something needs a lot of preparation, and leaving it to Friday is not going to leave enough time. For example, salting meat, that takes time, and therefore that should be done earlier. Ach, and therefore you should buy those things on, on Thursday if it needs longer preparation. Ach, im basa, im habasa shemotsi biyom hei hu kachosh. If, however, the, the things which you want to buy is, is, is weaker, the yesh sofik shemotsi biyom vav, shemotsi biyom vav, shemotsi biyom vav, then wait, you know, wait till Friday if it's going to be more available, better meat will be there, then available, etc. Um, istabra de biyom hakatarim, however, in the short uh, winter days, komash yochu lahagdim hachonah biyom hei odif, Leaving everything till Friday so that it's more evident that it's for Shabbos is a good idea, but on the short winter Fridays, uh, make sure you're ahead of the game, and therefore preparing on a Thursday would be better. And one final point, for toif sheyomal kol dava shekoyna zehu lekovet Shabbos. When a person buys food for Shabbos, and there's a machlekes b'sham mesil, a famous machlekes, do you buy as you go along, or do you sort of wait and you buy on Sunday and eat on Sunday and wait till have Shabbos levels of bitachon? That's for, not for now. Machlekes b'sham mesil, which actually Mishabura later brings, 
But either way, when you do buy things for Shabbos, uh, um, it's good for a person to say, This is in honor of Shabbos. Because talking, verbalizing it, activates Kedusha, and it's good, therefore, to verbalize it. So this is Lekavot Shabbos, uh, when a purchase is made for Shabbos. I remember when I was in Yeshiva, there was a, a certain older man who I used to visit, who was a friend of the family, and he would tell me that he was a Ben Bias after the war um, by Rav Shleim Halberstam, the Bob, the, the Bob the Rebbe. And he remembers that Erev Shabbos, the Bob Rebbe would, would prepare like an avocado dish. That was his thing. He would like scoop out some avocado and make it Erev Shabbos. That was his thing. That was his preparation of Shabbos. So, you know, even great Rebbe's who have got, I'm sure, lots of people to help, um, they would do it themselves. Now, what if a person is unable, we'll come to Chalas in a certain moment, but what if a person is unable to prepare an Erev Shabbos? Let's say, for example, uh, you're traveling or you've got work on Friday. It's a short Friday in the winter. And you can't, you can't do all these hachanas for Shabbos. So there's an interesting uh, paragraph in the Nidche Yisrael. The Nidche Yisrael is written by the Chovetz Chaim. The Chovetz Chaim wrote many, many svarim. Um, the two most famous, of course, are Shmiris Haloshen, the Sefer Chovetz Chaim, uh, and Shmiris Haloshen. And there's also Mishnah Bura. Mishnah Bura is the classic Sefer, Pirish on the first chilek of, of Shulchan Aruch, the first of four chalokim is Erechaim. And Mishnah Bura is a commentary on the entire um, um, Erechaim. And, but he also wrote many other svarim. So one of them is something called Nidche Yisrael. And Nidche Yisrael, he wrote svarim because of the needs of Klal Yisrael. Nidche Yisrael addresses problems, issues, that the young Jewish people had when they were conscripted to the Russian-Polish uh, army. And you're stuck in the army for many years. There's absolutely no provision for, for, for kosher or for other religious needs. And therefore, he wrote a sefer guiding these never these young forced conscripts how to actually conduct themselves how to behave and uh, what is halakhically acceptable talking about the sort of the bare minimums in those very very difficult situations you know um, okay not for now anyway let's uh, let's see what he says sivon akodish baruch lechabed es shabbos akodish baruch commanded us to honor shabbos vela angai and to delight in shabbos command khsiva karosa le shabbos ayne kapasuk in shay Anyone who delights in Shabbos, who works on his own Shabbos, all his heart's desires will be answered. A beautiful uh, assurance. What a beautiful pasuk. That a person is, uh, delights in Shabbos and, and, and uh, is machmir and oinig Shabbos, then HaKadosh Baruch Hu answers your heart's, delight, your heart's requests. There is a mitzvah to get up early on Friday on Erev Shabbos in order to prepare for Shabbos. He knows that on Erev Shabbos a person won't have time for whatever reason to busy himself with Shabbos because of something beyond his control. And no one else can help him and do it for him. So just start early. You can already do it from the middle of the week. You're just constantly uh, thinking about Shabbos in order to uh, enjoy Oineg Shabbos. So even if it's earlier in the week, says the Chovetz Chaim, again talking in Nitzche Yisrael, which addresses people who have got uh, difficult situations. Now, Regarding baking challahs, that is one of the practices we do in Erev Shabbos. The Shulchan Aruch in the bottom box says, in Simon Reish Mem Beis, Sif Aleph, the Mishnah says, this is the, the Ramah, Hagaz, the, the Ramesh Isla says, Nagin Lolosh Kadeshir Challah Babayas. A person, we have the Minag to bake challahs, which means to knead dough, with, uh, which is going to be enough dough that you can be mafresh challah. Lasus Mehem Lechomim Nivtsoya Alehem Beshabbos Viyontav. To make in enough challahs. Uh, to, to use for Shabbos or for Yontav. For whom he covered Shabbos, for Yontav, for So one shouldn't deviate from this practice. Now, the Bir Halacha, also of course authored by the, by, by the Mishnah Bura, says the following, There is an allusion to this, a hint to this concept of baking chalas uh, on Erev Shabbos. In the Pasuk, it says, They brought whatever they prepared and whatever they had baked, i.e., there was baking going on in honor of Shabbos. Mashma. 
So yesh lefos be'erev Shabbos, l'hachin ha-Shabbos. There is a concept, there is an idea, an Indian, to bake chalas on Erev Shabbos. Gam bizman ha-Gemara ha-yam min ha-Kavu al-Azeh. Even says the Chavitz Chaim, in the times of the Gemara, there was such a custom to bake chalas on Erev Shabbos. K'moshe hevi ha-Mogin Avram. Now, uva avonisei harabim, says the Bihalacha, due to our many sins, ha-yom hischilu eze noshim, Many women have begun to put aside the minhag and they buy chalas from the baker. Says the Bihalacha, it's not a good thing, they're not behaving correctly. Because in so doing, they are minimizing covered Shabbos. So the Chavetz Chaim is not a fan of baked goods, as you, know, you can have delicious chalas from local bakeries. Says the Bir Halacha, Loi uh, Lav Shapir Avdi. It's not good what they're doing, and they are they're deviating from the Minhag, the age old Minhag, to bake uh, home baked chalas on Erev Shabbos. Now, the difficulty is what if the home baked chalas are, are nice and a lot of effort go in, but they're not the same, they're not as good as the bakery, the bakery chalas. You go to one of the local bakeries, they're fantastic chalas. So, how do you weigh that up? On one hand, Oynek Shabbos tells me you should have the nicest food. But on the other hand, part of Oynek Shabbos is to bake yourself. So what to do? Get a better recipe. Get a better recipe. Well, I, I can I recommend my wife's recipe. It's superb. Baruch Hashem. The Oynek Shabbos that I have with our home-baked chalas, I need to put this on record, is, uh, is, is better than all the local bakeries. So there's not a, sh- not a shayla. But look at this. An interesting note in the Dirshu Mishnah uh, he, he makes some, some very interesting comments. The Davka Bismano says the Dirshu note that Davka in those days, they would be like the standard breads that were baked in the bakery. So if you would have them during the week, and on, on Shabbos you're going to get the same bread that you would have during the week, and you're going to use that for Shabbos. That's what he's referring to, he says. Where you have properly made chalas, especially for Shabbos. You go into a bakery tomorrow, it will look differently tomorrow than it will today and yesterday and any other day because they've prepared loads of chalas for Shabbos. Shabbos. By buying nice chalas from the bakery, that does not take away from covered Shabbos. V'das ha'goner b'lyashuv, this is in Hilchus Shabbos, in, Shabbos, in, in, I've got the Mar Mokum there. Shabbos aneg mechala shel oifer. If a person enjoys the bakery's challah, yoiser me'ashev mechala baitis more than a home baked challah, rishay lika challah min ha'ofer. He's allowed to buy the the, the bakery challah. Ve'ina mechasa bekach bekavod the Shabbos. Says Rabbi Yashlov, he should get the the regular challah. He can get the regular challah. It doesn't take away from the kavod Shabbos. Kivin she yisoyit haminhag because ultimately, what is the the, the root of this minhag? The focus is to enjoy Shabbos. If you enjoy these special chalas from the bakery, then so be it. So, in other words, whilst the Bia Halacha says he is quite uh, critical uh, of those ladies who don't, uh, who don't bake at home and buy the, 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 the bakery chalas, which became prevalent, says the Bia Halacha in his time, that, he says the Dirshu Mishnabur, is referring to those chalas that were regular chalas that you would get on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, just the regular loaves of bread that were baked in the local bakeries. But nowadays, if they're going to be baking special chalas, uh, the covered Shabbos, which I think all bakeries do, then, say the contemporary post game, that would not be a problem. Uh, of course, the more you put into something, the more you get out of it. And therefore, if one can get a good recipe and bake uh, some nice home-baked chalas, then the chur that would be better. But if a person likes certain baked uh, bakeries chalas, then the uh, chur that would not be a problem. Right. Okay. So if that is your ending shabbos, you like sour though, or you like particular like whole grain chalas, and you like the six seed recipe or whatever it may be, then great. Then then perfect. I see you're talking about the bakery one. Yeah. And therefore on shabbos you want to have the same again. It's not so. It, yeah, but on the other hand, if it's, it's, it's a very subjective thing. If you prefer, prefer a particular type of challah, uh, for example, I know at home on Friday night, we have one whole grain challah, which I like and my wife likes and some of the kids like. Other kids like the white challah, so my wife makes the combination. 
So, uh, and I know when some of the kids are home, I know which kids to give which ones. And uh, so it's a very subjective thing. So if you like sourdough, then and you want to make colors with sourdough, then great. Yeah. Say that. Okay.